Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am organizing and destashing my functional stickers binder. So this is just a, well, I don't know what it is, A5? No, uh, yeah I think it's A5 binder. Um, I just got it from Officeworks in Australia and it just has um, these things, what are they called? <laughs> Plastic sleeves from Avery that I got off Amazon and then the cover is from um, Planner Sophisticate or Jesenia Printables. I'm not sure if it's still available but it's like these album covers that she put out so I put the functional stickers on in there but it didn't fit in the Officeworks um, binder side um, so I put in sticker stash instead. But that is my fun how I organize my functional stickers and I haven't touched this in a long time. They only recently got to Finland, you know I moved in December and I only recently got these in the mail because a bunch of my stuff was with my mother-in-law and um, yeah I really need to go through it. Functional is like glitter headers, half boxes, date covers, that kind of thing and I mostly um, Obviously I mostly get Ultimate Kits with all the add-ons, so I don't use it that much, but it's nice to have them on hand, a lot of these things. So let's get straight into it and um, figure out what the hell we're even doing with this stuff. <laughs> so I noticed, but um, I don't know why, but ring binders in Australia are different to American ones. And they're mostly all like two ring. Um, so I actually had to punch holes in the American plastic sleeves because I couldn't find A5 heavy duty sleeves in Australia. Um, but these ones didn't fit the two ring kind of configuration. I think next time I would just buy all the things from America so they all work together. But yeah, that was just a weird thing I found so I had to punch extra holes in these sleeves. But it works. So the first sleeve here we have is... Um, Habit trackers, and I've got Caress Press ones and Scribble Prints Co. ones. Those are the two main kits I really use. And I think for a while, is that some uh, it might have been Caress Press, like some of the kits didn't come with two originally, or sometimes if I sometimes I want three habit trackers in a week, so I want to pull in a matching one with the kits that I'm using. And I'm wondering if I can, um, if I'd be able to organize this enough that I wouldn't, I could actually split these into two pieces so they're different, so I can differentiate them. I mean, I have a plastic sleeve that's empty at the back here. So I might quickly move this to the front so then I can separate my two lots of half trackers. So obviously the second one will be the Caress Press, and these are fairly new, like these are Spring 19 and Winter 18. So um, they're pretty new, so I'm going to keep both of those sheets and keep them in here. But I'm going to mess the School Prince Co. ones. She doesn't sell these multicolor anymore. No, she doesn't. So <laughs> um, I don't want to get rid of too many of them. But here we've got like an Autumn colorway. Here's some really old ones. So the old ones there, I got a set of light pink, which you can never go wrong. Another one of these autumn ones, another one of these. And a different set of these early ones. These are my earliest ones, as you can see here. Um, and then I have a bunch, so those are the earliest ones, the latest, and then the newest. So I'm going to put them in that order. I also have these extra ones here, which I don't think I need looking at all of these sheets. So I'm going to get rid of those just to clean that up. That is my lots of habit trackers that I like to keep. Then I have these cleaning trackers from um, Crafts by Towie. We've got a neutral set here. Or is it pink? Anyway, we've got a marble and we've got a full pink. 
And I do really like these and I never really reach for them as you can see I reach for two because a lot of the colours and styles don't really go with the kits that I use. I wish I had like, there was more like Scribble Prints Koei press pressy type ones. Um, but I'm going to keep them for now because they are like a novelty and I never know when I might be like, I'm going to do a big clean this week. So. You keep those. Alright, here's the start of my glitter header collection. <laughs> so I think I separated, I thought I separated them in like winter and whatnot. So this is one, I think these are like a wintry autumn colors. This is definitely autumn color. So I might as well keep all of those. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put these up here because we're going to get a bit weird here. <laughs> We got this weird, uh, I probably won't ever use this weird gold yellowy color, so we'll get rid of that. Um, we got two of these pinks. We got some silver ones here. I'll probably keep this sort of rose, light to rose gold, but I don't think I'll be keeping this weird orangey color. Um, oh yeah, so that was like the new glitter, and then I have like Oh dear, this is all the old glitter. Okay, let's <laughs> let's put these away. So these are all the old glitters that we can go through. Uh, the new glitters. So let's have a look. Okay, we've got some Little Miss Papery, which I do like her glitters. They're all sort of similar colors, <clears throat> which I might keep those. I might keep them separate. Then I have these bow headers. I'm not going to keep these glam planner ones. <clears throat> um, I just don't really re reach for these, so I'm going to de-stash those. we yeah, got all this old glitter. Hmm. Which I used to love and adore, and they used to be my favorite thing in the world. And now they're not really. Um, the new glitter really grew on me, whereas I thought this used to be the perfect glitter of all time. I think I'm going to de-stash all of this and I'm going to add a little bit to this collection by getting the current multicolor because I don't have the current multicolor of the new glitter. So I think I'm going to get rid of these, pick up a new multicolor just to sort of add to that. I'm going to put these Lumis Paper ones in here. But yeah, just going to move on from that old glitter. So once again, we got some more of that old glitter. You can get rid of this is from like an anim oh that's from the that like winter frozeny kit. But this is all old glitter, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of it. I'm really updating myself with the times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got tons of these old freebies here. Tons and tons of them. I might, um, I don't know, oh, and then we have this rainbow one. I still got like a full week left, but not for the sidebar. I don't think I'm going to keep that. Oh, and these old glitter samplers, do you remember this, guys? Oh, the old April colors. Oh, I love it. But these are so chunky. I just, I just don't know if I want to keep them. I just don't reach for them, so... Maybe I'll keep like these kind of interesting ones, this rainbow and this like purple hollow. They could be fun to play around with with something. Not the pink one though, but these two. I'll keep those and I'll put this in here with those ones. So now I'm going to empty pocket there. So now I've got all the glitter flags that go up the top and um. I haven't really needed these in a while. So we do have the new glitter. So maybe I'll keep the new glitter ones around. Although it's still old style. But we're about next year we're getting rid of these flags altogether. So I don't think I need all of these. Yes, Heidi? I know you want to go out. But it makes a noise. Okay. So I'm going to keep those flags, so we got another empty, we two empties here, alright now this is a big mess, hmm, 
sort if there's any outside noise, guys, but Heidi has, she needs access to the balcony, so, because it's her favorite place. Um, so I've got a whole bunch of things here. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, even more of this. Okay. So here we have some little flags from Blanket Planner. She uses like vinyls that are like real. Um, but I don't think I need the flags anymore. I got Manny Dreams. She may have given me this set for something. But um, I'm going to keep those around. I might put them in with this group. Then I have like a whole set of Chic Street Sticker Boutique. The problem is I never use them because they're all sparkly hollow, which not until recently did I start using. And I find the colors are a bit dull. I don't really like the glitter texture that much actually, so I think I'm going to de-stash these. Um, I'm not really a fan of that gold glitter, so I'm going to put that aside. Sorry, Mandy. And now I got some of these more vinyl glitters. So I might keep the rose gold ones. Uh, I do love this royal purple. I don't like this gold that much. It's a bit yellow brassy to me. And I don't like this pink that much either. So we're going to have some more vinyls in a minute. So I'm going to keep these to the side. Then I have some more little Miss Paperies. I might as well keep that. More of this boy header. Destashing. Oh, these are like um, a very old um, Halloween set, I think, from Crest Press. But I'm gonna get rid of those. And then these I made myself actually. See how I was like super into this glitter texture? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna throw these out because I made them and not destash them. I should say I'm gonna be destashing them. I'll probably bring them to the School Prince Co. Planner Party and put them on the destash table. That seems like the best option. That table is gonna be wild. <laughs> oh dear, everyone's planning to bring a lot. All right, now we have day covers, which I don't know if I wanna keep any of these because, like the school principal ones, because all the kits come with them, all of them. And I much prefer the newer text versus this old text, I'm gonna desash those. Um, these, this is matte. I think I want to get rid of the, I'm not really a fan of these rose colored days ones, I'm afraid. This one's glossy, so I'll keep that, but I'm going to get rid of the matte ones from Hello Petite Paper. It's because I'm not a big fan of that matte. Uh, I probably won't use those. That's those again. And I have all of these color pop ones, including some newer foiled. But I just don't find myself reaching for them. I mean, I like the these one, these one new ones are matte, even though they're foiled, and I don't want the matte. So the matte ones are out, but these are all glossy still. So I might keep a hold of these just in case I feel like something different. And I have used a ton of them. So let's keep those, but let's boost them back up to these empty pockets. Alrighty. As you can tell, like, if you watch my other D-Stash videos and there's a whole playlist, just look at my playlist and there's a whole one for D-Stashing and organizing, I can be a bit ruthless, to be honest, but that's what I'm here for, to get rid of stuff. Because <laughs> my collection does not need to be this big. So a bunch of these little posted notes from Chic Street Sticker Boutique with that hollow foil again and again I just don't find myself reaching for these and these are matte and I'm trying to go glossy except for character stickers so those are de-stashed like these are really cute but I just don't find a use for them neither of these Fox and Pip ones I just don't find Fox and Pip are really my style then you have these like glitter boxes I do try and keep these ones around because um, I find the mini kits without the um, box add-on, which she only has started doing recently, um, have enough boxes for me, so I like to keep a hang on those. 
I've got these Iris Daydream ones, which I have used a lot of, but I do like to bring in another sticker or so, which makes the bows really hot like to use. So I'm going to desesh those. Oh my god, you guys, look at this ancient April colors. These were my favorite Erin Condren colors in my first Erin Condren planner. Ugh, they're so beautiful. I'm going to keep them for this color palette sake and I think I'm gonna have to steal the color palette and do a set I think. Um, these were a from a grab bag, a misfit, these are these old ombre boxes, I'm gonna get rid of those. Alrighty, so we're starting like, um, yeah, a Screw Prince Co boxes set here, that's what it's gonna be. So we're going to do some more from here, I think. we got some black items here. Um, I'm going to de-sash these. Oh, these are newer. These are from the Marble Multicolor. And I found them really useful. They kind of go with most sets because a lot of school Prince Co. has marble. So if I don't have enough boxes, I can bring those in. So I'm keeping them. And I have the winter colorway of these squared off boxes. So some of the older kids don't have any or they are lacking until now. <laughs> I think this is the spring. These colors are gorgeous, keeping them. So now we've got a bunch again of those sort of pink color ones, but these are the fancy labels and some appointment labels. I'm going to keep those. This is the all glitter from the three year bundle. Can you believe it, guys? Uh, I think I'm going to keep these ones from the three year bundle. Uh, let's just keep those because, you know, it's, um, <laughs> I'll keep some of the three year bundle stuff. I can't believe next year is the six year bundle. That's how long I've been shopping with Screw Prince Co. But I'm going to de these two little bees ones and these ones from Iris Daydream. And look, some super old stickers that I made myself. I really did like those squared off boxes. <laughs> But I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to sash those for poor, unassuming people at the desash table. They don't want all my old crud. And then we have some more fancy labels, which we'll keep here. So let's put all these with these. And then we've got some caress press ones here. And how many kits definitely don't have enough boxes at all for me. You can see how many I've already used in just a couple of kits since she released a spring set, so I'm going to keep those. I do like scallops, but I never reach for them. And, oh, look at these old October colors. Anyway, I'm going to do sash all those. And I keep my caress press separate here. And then we have, I just think, checklists. Um, I do save some because mini kits don't have a checklist, but do I really need all of these? This is a lot of them. Oh yeah, so many checklists, so many old kits. That's an old caress press one. This is from Spooky Cakes, I remember. Oh, this is a really cool autumn one, which I loved. October colors. I remember that kit. I remember a lot of these kits. Oh. This was an old October mystery. Oh man, this was a full kit. Those are just monthly colors. Mm, this is a summer kit. This was like that Lily Pulitzer kit. Oh man, I don't know if I should keep these. I think I will, just for functional binder's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of the crest press ones because that's glossy and I buy premium matte from her now. Oh, here we go. We're getting into some weird stuff here. So this is the extras from that Mother's Day kit that I drew. It was the first um, exclusive I did for Scribble Prince Co. Um, I've already used like the recolor <laughs> and I used the original. I don't think I need to keep these extras, but see, maybe someone at the party will want those extras. Then I have these weekend banners from Rose Colored Days. 
These actually belong in my foil stuff, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I don't really care for weekend banners, to be honest. So I'm going to de-sash those. Someone will be very happy for those. I got some 15 millimeter strips here. I think like I either didn't use them or they came with a kit um, that I used washi with or I got them by mistake. <laughs> That's how that happens sometimes. Um, Emily having too much, too much Taco Bell. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna keep these around because you never know when you might want one of these for any other kit, so I'm gonna keep those in here. I'm thinking I might pack, pick up a pack of multicolor just to have these on hand, because they don't come with cross press kits and whatnot. Then I have some little secret boxes from um, from Once More Love. I'm gonna keep these in here as well. And here we go, we got some more of this vinyl stuff. I got a whole bunch when I met it's her name Ramessa from Blanket Planner. I met her at Planicon. Um, there's not a lot of these ones left. These ones are from um, Colourpop Paper on the clear. I like how they have this light purple and this blue is really pretty. Wait. Hmm. Anyway, and then we got this dark purple which I think would be cool and black for like um, Halloween. So I got all of these from Ramessa. But I just don't do the cocktail glitter header thing or the bottom washy thing, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna destash those. Well I think she's at the party, so but now I've got all these final ones together. I'm just gonna pop these in here. And the very back, because I didn't have anywhere else to put these uh stickers I got in Japan when I was there a few years ago. So this is like an Alice in Wonderland sticker flake pack that I got and they're like all hollow and pretty so I just put them on this sheet to save them as well as these cinema roll stickers. I've used a few of these but there's like a sheet of um, Kira Imai, uh, Imai frame stickers which I love this artist. They're beautiful and then they're actually like these gacha machines you know where you get toys out of them but they have sticker versions. So I have this like one piece sticker sheet with Hello Kitty and I did a one piece spread in my first original planner because I did a lot of my own like themed sets. So I used a lot of those there but I can't get rid of them. I just, I loved Japan <laughs> and one day I'll go back but I'm just gonna keep them in the back there. But that is my functional done, like look at this, she's empty, an empty baby. And then what I'm bringing to the D stash table yeah, I'm getting a lot of this functional, but the thing is, I use Ultimate Kits these days, and I usually get all the extras, and that's just what I like, so I'm doing that. And I thought I'd show you the kits I'm de-stashing at the party as well, in case you're going to be there, and you want to look specifically for these on the table, they will be there. So I'm going to de-stash these kits. This Autumn Kit, I was saving it for this year, but... I think I'm really over photo kits, so I'm done with it. <laughs> the, um, was this the five year? No, five, four year? I don't know. The ice cream bundle. Four years. Um, I just haven't gone around to do it. It didn't fit into my summer, um, lineup. <clears throat> I got some Christmas kits here that I never used. I got this one from Simply Watercolor Co. It's from Caress Press, but it has B6 washi in it. So watch out for that. I got some mini kits. I decided that I don't really like mini kits, so. And it's gonna be all new Christmas, so why not? So we have this like modern Christmas. We have Barbie Christmas. We have the old graduation kit. I got one of the new ones. We've got some of my old art, but I never got around to using them, and I just wanna kinda of stick to the new format. So we've got this um, Make It Sweet. Uh, summer Breeze. I'm so sad I never used this, but um, this kit from Wild Summer Designs. I just don't use photo kits. I've got this. I bought two of these ones, and I just, of which please, because I love it. But I'm kidding myself. I'm not going to use the kit twice. It's just not who I am. It was a little one ton a million set. And we got this mystery. This was November last year, Planet Girl set. 
So all of this stuff is going on the de-stash table at the party. So look out for that. But that is the de-stash of my functional stickers. It's not a lot, but I use kits, so. But um, what I do have is necessary, I think, for stretching a kit um, in case it doesn't have extra things. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye!